so let's start with a, a new topic that is sampling design how do we uh, make a sample for our study so we have uh, basically uh, two type of sampling that is probability and non probability okay if this is your population you make a small sample from it okay so how do you conduct this process is known as sampling if you are conducting a study on medical students the whole medical students of a that particular college will be your population okay that will be around 1000 or 2000 or 5000 so you are making sample of 100 so how you make this 1000 to 100 without losing its property is known as sampling design so we have probability and non probability sampling so always probability sampling is better compared to non probability sampling uh, i'm just giving you uh, now the difference Uh, different types uh, in the next class i'll explain you uh, in detail each one okay so in probability the first one is simple random sampling yeah it is srs simple random sampling systematic sampling first one is simple random sampling systematic sampling mm the third one and fourth one third one is stratified sampling fourth one is cluster sampling and this multi stage sampling in non probability this convenient sampling this is most common one used in our study but this is what done in rct or experimental study okay convenient sampling judgmental sampling judgmental sampling quota sampling snowball sampling purposive sampling okay so basically the difference between probability and non probability sampling is the chance of being uh, in the study is equal to all the population for probability sampling and non probability the chance of being in the study is not common or equal for all the participants if suppose we have a population of 1000 people and we are making a sample of 100 out of it here all the 1000 participants has equal chance of being the 100 here if you are making 1000 to 100 no all the participants will not have the chance of being in 